scary, but somebody said that we're in the old gym and snuck in and got a little scared. All right, what are y'all talking about? Did you hear about Tommy and Travis last night getting scared in the old gym? Yeah, I heard Tommy was crying. Yeah, well, I heard Travis put his pants. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do that too hard. It's been said that the old gym is haunted. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not really, but I wouldn't want to scare you. Go on, just tell us. Well, it all started during the first years that the school was up. There was a teacher who lived on campus at a house where the old gym is now. And when weird things started to happen around the school, she was the center of all the speculation. At first, it was just little things, you know, things coming up missing, peculiar noises. But when children became too scared to come to school, that's when the town started to work. Something was happening to these children, and all eyes were on that old teacher. She was always different from the rest of the teachers. She never had a smile on her face. She always had this scowl on her face. Things really started getting out of hand when a handful of students came running out of her classroom one day. Two days later, five children were missing. They searched everywhere and began to comb, began to comb through the woods behind the school. It was there that they found something disturbing. What was it? handmade wooden figure that had signs of witchcraft all over it. They immediately made their way to the old teacher's door. They knocked. She answered. She stood in the doorway and wouldn't let them in. They pushed their way in and gasped as they saw the scene that lay before their eyes. Hey, I think I've gone too far. No, 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 keep going. Tell us what happened. What, what happened to the kids? What about the teacher? Well, the evidence against her was very solid. And the old teacher was hung in her own front yard on the grounds of this very campus. The five children were never seen again. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Um, so do you think it's really true? What? Ms. Carl said about the old gym being closet. I don't know. I mean, it might be something if it scared Tommy and Travis. I know. They're not the only scary cats like me. So let's go check it out tomorrow. Are you crazy? No way. Come on, Blaine. Put being such a little girl. I'm in. I'm down. Me too. Blaine? I guess. Guys, this isn't very scary. I know. I can't believe Tommy peed his pants over this. I mean, we've been here three hours. Nothing's happened. Um. Seriously, speaking of peeing from their pants, I gotta go. You go with me, Timmy? No, I'm not going with you, Blaine. I'll go. I'm good. Alright, I'll see you. Good luck. Dang, Blaine's been in there for a while. I know, I think he fell in. <laughs> so, what you gonna check on him? I guess I'll go. Guys, I'm getting kind of nervous about the Glingo's game. Do you think we can handle it? Fox already got this in the morning. I don't know. Oh, no! No! Open it! Fox! What are you doing? Fox! Put it in! Open it! Open the door! Are you okay? Where did they go? There's no windows. Come from. I don't know y'all, but I can't do it. I'm leaving. Okay, let's find him. Oh! Over there. Isaac! Isaac! Oh, Isaac! Oh my gosh, Tim, there he is. Isaac! 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 Oh my god, he's not breathing. 
What was that? What was that? Let's go. Started out with five of us, and now I'm the only one left. I don't know what to do. I'm here all by myself. <sighs> if anybody finds this, please tell everybody I love them. Project, okay?